Second, and this is extremely nuanced and important, the deeper reasoning output will almost always include second order effects we hadn't considered. In a nutshell, by adding just four words to the end of our prompts, think hard about this, we're able to force the invisible router I mentioned earlier to select a higher reasoning model. Jumping into a real world example, I asked ChatGPT the same question twice. What are the pros and cons of putting my cash in a low cost index fund versus a money market account? First, without the nudge phrase, and then with the nudge phrase. Comparing the outputs, you'll see a few key differences. First, you'll know that deeper reasoning was triggered when you see this thinking indicator showing that ChatGPT thought for a set amount of time. Second, and this is extremely nuanced and important, the deeper reasoning output will almost always include second order effects we hadn't considered. In this example, GPT-5 gave a much better answer with more thinking time. Right off the bat, it tells me what each one is, pros and cons at a glance, and most importantly, how to choose between the two, right? So as a rule of thumb, always trigger more reasoning for high stakes tasks where missing second order effects could really hurt you. Pro tip, I found three phrases to reliably trigger deeper reasoning. Think hard about this, think deeply about this, and think carefully in contrast with, this is critical and this is very important. Phrases others have mentioned, but didn't work in my testing. The word important is vague, whereas think hard is very explicit.